All right, I was asked how to get shine on a guitar, a deep luster shine. So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, this guitar had uh, something spilled all over it. It was like, um, like a soda and goobers that were really not coming off with elbow grease. So I used a little bit of a rubbing compound. Now you can see it, so I don't know if you can see in the video, but it hazed it, it's hazy. And that's because it's abrasive. And so it puts, a, it takes a little bit out of the shine. So if I was, um, if I was going to try and get this back to a, a polished shine, then I need to use a polishing compound, not a rubbing compound, and then a fill and glaze and wax. So let's back up a little bit. Um, let's say you have a drip in your clear. That's, that's something you're going to have to use like an 800 grit or 1200 grit sandpaper. You could even go out to a 2000 grit sandpaper. But that drip in of clear is not going to just rub and compound off. So you have things that sandpapers are for all the way up to getting to the rubbing compound. So now the rubbing compound, that's going to take out sandpaper scratches but it's not going to leave you with a shine it's going to be kind of hazy like this so if, after you've moved past sandpaper and moved past rubbing compound then you get to a polishing compound and so this is a polishing compound and we'll see how much this uh, brings back some some shine for you here and what you want to do is you want to rub it quite a bit and so that it's a thin, real thin like that. You don't want, want it like that. That's way too much. I put enough for this whole guitar on here. Didn't really mean to, but that's what we're going to do now. So um, you want it to be more like just down here, where it's thin, a thin smear that you're sand, basically sanding like that. And so once I'm done, um, we'll have a lot of these scratches out of here and a lot of the haze gone. And I might have to do this a couple times. But then that's, that's going to give me some of my shine back. But it's not going to necessarily give me luster. And so for that, I need a fill and glaze and wax. And so that's kind of the almost the last thing. Once I put that on, then you're going to want to use like a microfiber, microfiber cloth and buff. So pretty much to get a good shine, you're looking at using different levels of abrasive. So starting off, you have sandpaper and really fine sandpapers like 800 to 2000 grit. Then you go to a rubbing compound and get those scratches off. Then you go to this polishing compound and get those scratch, scratches off, that, that haze off. Then after your polishing compound, go to a fill and glaze wax and then after that buffing a buffing cloth terry cloth or microfiber cloth so those are the steps you would take to get um, a luster a deep shine back on your guitar so this was the haziest spot like right in here and there's a spot kind of right in here so now that I've pretty much you pretty much just uh, use this material to sort of dissipates like you're seeing here and it if you leave it it'll sort of haze and and it'll come off a little easier um, the fill and glaze the that you use the fill and glaze and wax that's good to put on and let it haze and you take it off and everything looks really shiny um, but let's polish up this section for you to see all right so I'm not sure how well this transferred in the video. It's my microfiber a little bit here. But you can see there's a lot more shine. And there's still some, some haze from that uh, rubbing compound. So I'm halfway there. I'm probably going to have to do this another time or two. And so I'm not sure how well that comes across in the camera. But those are the steps. You kind of have to work your way towards... Um, in, in levels to get the scratches out from the previous level. Um, the main thing too, if you've got a scratch and that scratch goes through the clear 
all the way down to the paint or through the paint, that's not just going to rub and compound out. Um, you know, that, that's a deep scratch, so it depends on the depths of the scratches, really. And uh, that's how you do it. So there you go. Go make your guitars shiny.